baia stupenda, cos'è? È la baia delle grazie, abbastanza profonda, ottimo riparo per i venti da... Here we can see the bay of Le Grazie. The water is quite deep. It's sheltered from the strong libeccio and maestrale winds, but it's very well protected. Allevamenti? Questi sono allevamenti di di pesci, sì, branzini e orate. Che bella idea, eh. Oltre che per l'ormeggio, diciamo, They have a look at the fish breeding farms, sea bass and bream. The area is ideal for mooring your boat. Over in the distance there's a tourist harbour of Le Grazie. They dock their boat against the wharf near the Val de Taro shipyards. Lui è Corrado Ricci, giornalista locale. Sa tutto. Tutto quello che c'è da sapere. They meet Carlo Ricci, a journalist. He knows everything there is to know about this place and its characters. He explains that Le Grazie is a place with a history that goes back to the Maestri d'Ascia. Le Grazie has a long-standing tradition of giving shelter and service to classic boats. In fact, you can see these boats sailing in and out of the shipyards all the time. They're old, precious, and their beauty is breathtaking. This is because Le Grazie is the historical harbour of the Gulf of La Spezia, and also of the famous characters who have made appearances here over the years. They go to search out a really special, important local character. He lives here surrounded by the vegetable and fruit orchards behind the harbour area. This man has spent all his life in the sea, or rather, under it. This is Mr. Mario Garcia. They meet on his doorstep and admire the fresco of a boat called Neptune. Mario è il decano dei palombari del Golfo di Spezia. Mario is the deacon of the deep sea divers of La Spezia. He tells us that he's 99 years old, shows us his diving equipment, and says that his first dive underwater when he was 16 years old. Che mestiere vuoi fare? Che dio dio. Il nonno faceva il pescatore di corallo, poi è andato in marina. One of his uncles asked him what he wanted to do when he grew up, and he said that as all his close relations had worked in the sea in different ways, then what else could he do? His first experience was a sink or swim lesson. He had to jump in the sea and retrieve some objects to show he was able. That was all he did to become a deep sea diver. He shows us a photograph. He's the shortest one in the group. What's his best memory, on or under the sea? He says without a shadow of a doubt, under the sea. Why? Because he used to make love to the mermaids. E l'amore per il mare non finisce mai per Mario, che giusto l'anno scorso ha deciso di rimettere in acqua la sua vecchia barca, il Nettuno. Lei ha restaurato la sua barca? Sì. He decided to set sail again last year with his boat, Neptune. He says that he has restored it to its former glory and is ready for sailing out into the sea, for fishing, enjoying the sea, taking his grandchildren. He goes out occasionally. Eccola qua, la vede? Questo è il Nettuno. Ma questa è una vera lancia proprio. E allora là di fronte. They go to take a look at Neptune. It's a real motorboat with all the right equipment and its original blue and white livery. Questo qua è quello originale. Bella. Ma la tradizione dei palombari alle Grazie non è un caso. It wasn't by chance that the deep sea diving tradition took place at Le Grazie. They look across the harbour to the yellow building behind, which there is a training school for deep sea divers. At Le Grazie there is a real business den of divers. Secondo lei Nettuno, se dovesse esistere, come fatto? È fatto, io lo giudico, il re. Our interviewer asked Mario what Neptune is like. Should he really exist, that is. 
Marius says that he is the king of all fishermen. Then he goes on to say that he spent his days retrieving objects such as nail heads, etc., from under the sea. That's how he made his living. Funnily enough, during the war, the government sent him off to the mountains as an alpine soldier.